Many experts agree that carb loading for the average person is just going to make them fatter. But what about athletes? Don't they need to carb load in order to perform? I was a marathoner in the 70s and early part of the 80s, and then I was an uh, endurance triathlete. I did Ironman. And I you know, was on the cover of Runner's World magazine three times. For, for all intents and purposes, I was the picture, literally and figuratively, of fitness, but not of health. On the inside, I was falling apart. I had become the antithesis of health, so I was putting in a lot of miles, and I was fueling those miles with the uh, assumed best fuel of the day, which was carbohydrates. I was carbo-loading. I discovered quite early that humans ought to be deriving most of their energy from their stored body fat and not from refilling their glycogen and re-upping their glucose intake every three hours throughout the day. That was a very uh, big epiphany for me. And although I've done very well athletically and I train 12 hours a week or so, I've had a really hard time keeping my weight in check. My blood glucose levels have all also been pre-diabetic. If I'm getting sick while I'm training 12 hours a week and being a top-class triathlete, what are the chances that an average person has to kind of avoid this trap? So with no prior rowing experience, we decided to row from California to Hawaii. Uh, almost 2,800 miles, completely unsupported. It took 45 days and we broke the speed record for two-person boat. We didn't have on board all of the stuff that endurance athletes typically have during endurance events, so we had no gels, no sports drinks, and in fact we had zero sugar or processed carbohydrates on board. The amount of work that we performed each day was about the same as running two marathons a day each. So to be able to get through two marathons a day with just pure whole foods for 45 days non-stop, we thought is a very powerful way of, of demonstrating that maybe the sugar and processed carbohydrates are necessary to perform or thrive or, or be healthy. I think there are a number of problems for athletes who believe they must take lots of carbohydrates. If you are a world-class leading athlete and you're lean and you're able to stay lean eating lots of carbohydrates, maybe you do get a little bit of a boost from the carbohydrates. But that's really for the world-class athletes competing in short events lasting maybe 15 minutes or so. But once you start putting on weight, that is telling you that those carbohydrates are doing you no good and you really need to, to reduce your carbohydrate intake. As a culture, we love to watch sports and we love to fuel our bodies as if we're going to be active. Imagine if you took that mentality to your local gym. Hmm, that is strange. Yeah, 